The title of my project was Blended Learning in the 6th Grade Mathematics Classroom. The goal of the Blended Learning in 6th Grade Mathematics project in my classroom is to help all students develop a deeper understanding of the Common Core Standards by engaging them using multiple types of formative assessments that are technology based such as Quizzes, Kahoot, WinMath, Discovery Ed, and iExcel. My research question I was seeking to address is whether student mastery of operations with fractions will be obtained by implementing the aforementioned online instructional tools, which will provide in individualization of student learning through technology. Why did I choose to research this topic? Um, in 2010, I participated in a hybrid Algebra One study at Perry Central High School where I used to teach. And two days a week, we went to the computer lab to do online lessons. And the other three days, we were in the regular classroom setting. And one of the things that I noticed was just an increased level of motivation and engagement from all of my students whenever I told them it was time to go to the computer lab. <laughs> um, I also noticed that those students that year, their scores did go up when I did a pre-test and post-test. So I wanted to recreate that blended learning environment in my sixth grade classroom. Um, another reason that I wanted to research this topic is I noticed upon teaching sixth grade math this year, this is my first year teaching sixth grade math, um, there is a gap. They expect them with the Common Core Standards to master division of fractions, um, yet in seventh grade they're, they're asked to perform operations with all types of rational numbers. Um, so there is a gap there because in fifth grade it's assumed that they obtain mastery of adding, subtracting, and multiplying fractions. Um, and then in sixth grade we primarily focus on division of fractions. And then in seventh grade they're expected to perform uh, operations with all types of rational numbers. So that was another reason that I decided that I wanted to um, do this topic. Also my past experience with teaching seventh and eighth and ninth grade math classes um, a lot of students would come in and say, do not put fractions on a test, do not put fractions on a quiz, I can't do fractions without a calculator. So I told myself that if I ever got to go back into the middle school classroom, that would be one of my goals, is to make sure that when they left me, they had mastery of fractions. So. Um, how did I learn more about my topic? This year through KVEC, I attended a lot of the math professional area network meetings as well as the blended learning uh, pans, and that's where I learned a lot about WinMath, Quizzes, Google Classrooms, and Kahoot. And that's primarily what I used throughout the duration of the project. My participants for the study, um, I, I considered as respondents were two RTI math classes um, my Monday, Tuesday group, I had um, seven students, and my Wednesday, Thursday group, I had five students. So they were chosen for my Math Plus or my RTI group based off of last year's K prep scores as well as the first round of Discovery Ed. Um, and I actually have three of my students here with me today. So. And those are some pictures of my participants and my plan of action. My study used an experimental design with a switching replication, meaning that my Monday, Tuesday Math Plus group and Wednesday, Thursday Math Plus group were alternately exposed to the blending learning environment and the traditional learning environment. So with one topic, I would be doing blended learning with Monday, Tuesday group, and then with my Wednesday, Thursday group, I would be doing traditional, and I would alternate that with topics. And so, go ahead and click the next one. You can kind of see how that played out with each topic. Um, at the beginning of the project, using WinMath, I administered a pretest for addition and subtraction of fractions along with multiplication and division of fractions. Um, the first topic, addition and subtraction of fractions with lot denominators, group one was traditional, group two was blended. Um, topic two, addition and subtraction with unlike denominators. Group one was blended, group two was traditional. And like I said, I alternately exposed the groups. One or a couple of different important things I need to mention about implementation of the plan. Um, 
after the blended learning environment group or after that particular group had exposure to the blended learning environment, um, I would meet with them face to face for clarification purposes to make sure that they had mastery of that topic. Um, when the traditional group, when they did paper and pencil activities, the paper and pencil activities, the seat work, the board work resembled what they were seeing on wind math. Um, also, I want to note that the activities were closely monitored to make sure that they were doing the same topic as the other group. So like my Monday, Tuesday group was doing the same topic as my Wednesday, Thursday group. And at the conclusion of each topic, they logged into Google Classrooms where they accessed either quizzes or Kahoot to do their quiz online. So all the groups got to do the formative assessments online. And again, there's my students doing Kahoot. <laughs> um, Table 1 reveals that with the pretest, post-test mean scores for Win Math, they did both their pretest and post-test on Win Math. Um, we can see that they are statistically significant in terms of um, the post-test mean for both groups definitely went up. <laughs> um, go ahead. For Table 2, Table 2 reveals that um, where you're seeing Group 1 mean scores and Group 2 mean scores for each topic. Um, so for example, for topic number 1, you notice that Group 2 had the higher mean score. Um, and we can attribute that to the blended learning environment. So anywhere you see the higher mean, um, whether that was with Group 1 on addition and subtraction of fractions, and then Group two on multiply, multiplying fractions and group one on dividing fractions. So wherever you see the mean is slightly higher, that's because the blended learning environment played a factor in that. Um, table three reveals discovery ed scores. Um, you will notice that not all the students reach proficiency, however, all students in my RTI Math Plus group did show signs of growth. Um, and like I said, I brought three of those students here with me today. Go ahead. <laughs> um, in sum, the, blend, the blended learning strategy accounted for a greater improvement than the traditional paper and pencil activities. And one of the reasons why I brought my three students with me today is because um, I wanted you to hear it from them, why it was better for them to learn this way. So, <laughs> without further ado, is Legend Goins, Mason Couch, and Ron Dean. So, Legend, I'm going to let you go first. So, tell us why you enjoyed learning this way. What was better about using the Google Chromebook classroom? Um, it helped me to do adding and subtracting fractions, and it helped me bring up my Think Link score. It went from an apprentice to a distinguished. Um, by using the Google Chromebooks uh, in sixth grade, it has helped me to be more attentive and to stay on task. By using um, the Chromebooks, uh, it, I can work at my own pace, and on my test scores, I went from an apprentice to a distinguished. Thank you. So, they're my pride and joy today. <laughs> um, more pictures of my students, like I said, I just wish the only, um, you can go ahead and click to the next slide. Overall, I noticed an increased level of motivation, confidence, attentiveness, as I'm sure everybody does anytime they implement te technology in the classroom. Um, I also noticed more perseverance in solving all types of problems. They were less likely to give up especially on wind math, anybody that has used wind math in the classroom. Um, some of those modules, the real life applications, they're rigorous, so they do have, have to persevere and they do have to think critically. Um, so I did, I did notice that they were more attentive and like I said, they didn't mind persevering through that. Active participation throughout the whole entire learning process, but I think more important more importantly, a more personalized learning experience for the student. Um, Ron said he liked it, you know, in particular because he could work at his own pace and he didn't have to work at the pace of other students. Um, drawbacks, 
Um, Chromebooks, they are fragile. They're limited to single or pairs. And my only wish is that I had a one-to-one -one device for every kid in the classroom. So, but other than that, very, very happy. <laughs>